so he get ghosts. So when you get whatever you want, you can just track it. And you just choose whatever theme you want. So we'll just do that one. And then you can just add any clip. So we'll add that one to give you that. So you rename it whatever you want. And then you just press continue. And then it's going to load. And then you have all this. You have your intros, whatever you want. If you want And you have all these options, so I don't like the theme, so I'm just going to delete that, and I'm just going to delete it. So now when you're looking for a clip, you have all these options. So you can go, you can press X, and you can add clips or screenshots or tracks or music or anything you ever want. The overlays are like text and like other stuff like that. So then, uh, so let's say you want to like trim certain parts of it because you don't want it. So what you do is wherever you want to start off, so let's say I don't want this part, you go over to split clip, and then you press X to split it, and then what you do is wherever else you don't want it, you just split it again. And then if you want, you just get rid of it. And now it's gone. How do you do that? And then you can also trim the clip, which I don't really use that to spin clip to split. Clip is more uh, better for that. You can also move clips to certain spots. So if you want to do that, uh, cloning clips, so you can make a duplicate of a clip, which is uh, pretty good for that. And then uh, the pan and zoom. I like pan and zoom. Pan and zoom is a good control. So you can just click it. You can zoom in on whatever you want, and then you have that. It's pretty good. Uh, and then you can just adjust it back when you don't want to do that. And then you can add music in there. You can actually you can actually adjust the volume of the game. So like whenever you have like a clip or something, you can actually adjust the volume of uh. So instead of the music volume, you can actually adjust the clip volume. So it's like, let's say like someone's like screaming really loud and you want to like dim it down. That's all you have to do. And then the time bender, <laughs> you can slow motion or you can do super fast. You can do either one. It makes it kind of funny, honestly. It's <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny. Okay. So you just have that. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's still not what I wanted to do. Okay. So then, uh, then you can just adjust it back. You just go to the same thing, and then you just adjust it back. Now, with the track one, that one is when you're, like, uh, you have to, like, have a headset on, or a microphone or anything, and then you just have to have, like, whatever you're getting a clip off of, like your phone or whatever you're using. You gotta make sure it's really loud, or else it's gonna be, like, really quiet. You can also edit that too, like with like the music or the tracks and stuff, you can actually edit, you can actually edit how loud you want them to, so then you have that, and then when you're ready, you just press triangle, the and then when it's done, all you do is if you want to upload it to YouTube, you upload it to YouTube, and then you're done, so there you go.